With a running time of about two and a half hours, Captain America Civil War is one stuffed movie. It features about four action-heavy set pieces, a dozen superheroes beating each other up, political machinations, and even a couple bromances thrown in for good measure. As a result, some scenes just had to hit the cutting room floor. As ever, beware, spoilers ahead. Meet Ant-Man. When we meet Ant-Man before the big super throwdown at the airport in Germany, he more or less jumps out of the van and shakes hands with Captain America. But as it turns out, the tiny hero's introduction in the script was originally, well, bigger. Get it? Because he grows. He grows big. According to a Slash Film interview with Civil War screenwriters Christopher Marcus and Stephen McFeely, the script originally called for a scene with Lang and the gang in his home in San Francisco, but it was deleted because it didn't get Ant-Man's tone quite right. Marcus explained, We were probably wrong. Because of the nature of when we started making the movie versus when it came out, as we were doing it for Infinity War, we wrote a lot, if not all, of Scott Lang's stuff before we ever saw Ant-Man. You just have to roll with that because we need to film. Where's Wasp? Speaking of Ant-Man, fans were excited by the movie's post credit scene that alluded to the impending debut of the hero's crime-fighting partner, the Wasp. I mean, maybe she'd appear with Ant-Man in Civil War, right? That's apparently something the filmmakers actually wanted to happen. But Marvel Studios head Kevin Feige explained, it was more important to preserve her superheroic journey for the Ant-Man sequel. Talk it out. After the Winter Soldier is captured in Germany, the heroes gather and discuss what's going on. These scenes continue to inform who's on which side of the movie's conflict and why, but Civil War's directors Joe and Anthony Russo decided that not all conversations are created equally. Joe Russo explained to ComicBook.com that a Black Widow and Black Panther chat was cut to keep things rolling. There was a scene between Natasha and T'Challa at the German Op Center, halfway through the movie, when he was sitting in that room. Cap and Falcon have been isolated in the other conference room. We didn't feel like it was moving the storytelling forward, and they had already had a scene so it felt repetitive. So it was something we excised from the movie. Cap dies? The end of Captain America Civil War shows Cap ultimately winning his brawl with Iron Man and living to fight another day. But at the end of the comic book version of Civil War, Cap meets his maker. As it happens, a Screen Rant interview with screenwriters McFeely and Marcus reveals that they never even considered offing Captain America. Killing off Cap, said McFeely, would have undercut the ambiguity they were aiming for with the issues presented by the Sokovia Accords. It also makes him too definitely a martyr and makes it feel like he was right. And we wanted neither side to be right or wrong. We wanted to end it kind of queasy. Both opinions are still standing at the end of the movie. And considering how great the final film turned out, it's pretty hard to argue with their decision. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch more videos like the one you just saw. And leave us a comment to let us know which deleted scene you would have liked to see most.